In this step, we will learn a lot of new Maven commands along with revising some of the commands which we have already learnt. We would use our first Maven project that we have created as an example. So what I'll do is I'll do CD to that particular folder. So I'll do a CD to the first Maven project folder so that we would start using that as an example and I'll do a clear so that we are starting off fresh. Okay, so uh, one of the most important commands which we have learned is MVN clean install. So MVN clean install as we know runs all the important steps in a maven build life cycle so it does the compile test compile run the tests and also it would deploy i mean it would uh, deploy the built out jar to a local repository the next thing is mvn inst clean install sometimes you'd want to do skip test so if you don't want to run this test then you can do mvn clean install hyphen d skip test i mean this is not really recommended i would not really recommend you to skip the test all the time but certain times if let's say the test take too much time to run so there's a project where let's say the test takes half an hour to run i mean even in those kind of situations i would not recommend you to skip the test but i would want to show that there's an option to skip the test so if you do hyphen d skip test then the test would not run you would see that everything goes on as usual but the test will not run so the option is hyphen d skip test the other important option which usually is used for debugging is hyphen x when i do a mvn hyphen x when i do a mvn hyphen x actually it should have been capital x that's why maven was complaining the maven runs in debug mode so in the debug mode you would see that there is a lot more log printed and a lot more information which is printed out I like whenever I have a problem with Mavens in building some project and I'm not able to figure out what's happening the first thing I would do is add MVN hyphen capital X and then you would have more information to go based on also another important thing about MVN hyphen X clean install is if you want to see how Maven is working it's a very very good thing so what you can do is you can do MVN hyphen X clean install and send it to a text file so send it to a sample dot text press enter and all the thing that we would need would be written out to the sample data text and then you can take the sample dot text and look at it to understand what's happening behind the screen in maven step by step so it's a very useful thing to do mvn hyphen x clean install sending it to a text file and trying to look at what's happening in there we already looked at a couple of useful commands mvn a uh, couple of useful commands from the help plugin mvn help effective pom was the first one which we looked at which printed the effective pom it printed the pom with the super pom so if a pom had a parent pom then pom parent pom and its super pom and stuff like that and we also looked at the option of sending it to an output file so if i want to send the effective pom to an output file i can say mvn help effective pom hyphen the output is equal to file name dot xml this can be used to send the effective pom output to a file then i can open up the file and look at what's inside the effective pom the other thing which we looked at also is effective settings so the effective settings showed us what was the local repository which was used so the help effective settings is also one more useful command the next set of commands are useful in identifying problems with dependencies so let's say you don't know how something is coming in how a dependency is coming in so we in eclipse we were using the dependency tree so the same thing is available as a command in maven as well so dependency colon tree so the dependency plugin has a goal called tree so now i'm running mvn dependency colon tree you'd see that the entire dependency tree for this particular project is printed so it shows uh, we have hibernate core from which we are inheriting i mean we are getting these transitive dependencies as well we are getting xml apis because it's a dependency of dom 4 j so it kind of shows the entire dependency tree of that particular project for certain projects this can be really big so you can probably transfer it to a text file and look at it in detail but this was a small project so the entire thing was printed in here and it's very easy to read in here so this is how you look at the dependency tree sometimes you would want to look at the source code for the jar so let's say i want i'm using hibernate 
but I want to look at the source for a particular hibernate class. How do I do that? I can say MVN dependency sources and then the dependency sources are also downloaded. So the source code for hibernate is also downloaded. You can see that it's downloading the hibernate final sources.jar and it would be made available if I import this project in Eclipse. So that's another useful thing. So if I want to look at the source of Hibernate or Spring, then I can do MVN dependency colon sources and all the sources for all the dependencies are downloaded in. And if you have forgotten something and you need help, you have always have the command MVN hyphen hyphen help. If you type MVN hyphen hyphen help, Maven shows you all the commands which are available, all the options which are available in Maven. I mean, there are a few set of options which are available in Maven. So you can look at them as well in here. So there you go. Those were some of the important commands in Maven, which might be really useful for you. Thanks for joining more than a million students who are learning from us. At In 28 Minutes, we defined a learning roadmap for Java and front-end developers. We created more than 25 courses covering all the topics that you are seeing on the screen. There are four things you can do to make best use of these courses. Number one is Udemy. You'll find a link in the description of the video to our Udemy profile. We are teaching a lot of courses on Udemy and most of them are free. Number two, visit our website www.in28minutes.com. You'd find tons of information including how you can register for our trainings and the link to Udemy and our GitHub code as well. Number three, visit our GitHub repository. With more than 20 repositories covering varied examples, it's a comprehensive source of information and code. Last but not the least, you'll find a set of discount codes for all our Udemy courses in the description as well. Feel free to use them. Good luck from the team here at In28Minutes, your destination for high quality step-by-step -step courses.